In 1995, young Natasha Romanoff and Yelena Belova are whisked away by their surrogate parents, Alexei Shostakov, originally Russia's Captain America known as the Red Guardian, and former Black Widow Melina Vostikov from their home in Ohio. As their mission ends, Romanoff and Belova are put through the Red Room for further training. 21 years later, following the battle between the Avengers at Leipzig slash Halley Airport, Romanoff is a fugitive from the government for violating the Sokovia Accords. She escapes from U.S. Secretary of State Thaddeus Ross, fleeing to a safe house in Norway, reuniting with her contact Rick Mason. In Morocco, Belova is still working for the Red Room. Belova kills Oksana, a former Black Widow, only to come in contact with a substance called Red Dust, which removes the Red Room's control over her. She sends this antidote to Romanov's safe house in the hopes that she will return to help her. As Romanov unknowingly drives off with the antidote, she is attacked by Taskmaster, who is after the red dust. Romanov manages to evade Taskmaster and learns that the dust came from Belova. The two reunite in Budapest, but are attacked by Black Widows. While escaping, Romanov learns the Red Room is still active and that its leader, Drakov, is still alive. In order to join S.H.I.E.L.D. years previously, Romanov's mission had been to kill Drakov. After detonating a building containing Drakov and his young daughter Antonia, an act that has haunted Romanov, both were presumed dead. In the present, Romanov and Belova evade Taskmaster and meet back up with Mason, who supplies them with an aircraft. Romanov and Belova break Shostakov out of prison to learn where Drakov is. He tells them that they need to speak with Vostikov, who lives on a farm in Russia using mind control on pigs. Belova reveals that while they were not a real family, she still wanted to believe that they were so. Shostakov and Vostikov admit that they, too, wished they were a real family. Unfortunately, Vostikov gives their location to Drakov. His agents arrive and take them away to the Red Room, located on an aerial base. As Drakov congratulates Vostikov for finding Romanov and Belova. It is revealed that Vostikov and Romanov used face mask technology to switch places at the farm, having planned their own capture. Romanov learns that Taskmaster is Drakov's daughter Antonia, who suffered severe damage from the explosion. Drakov was forced to put a chip in her head to help her, also turning her into the perfect soldier. Romanov discovers that she cannot harm Drakov due to a pheromone lock he installed in every widow. She notices that Drakov has been controlling widows all around the world via his control desk. After goading Drakov into punching her in the face, Romanov manages to sever a nerve in her nasal passage to negate the pheromone, allowing herself to attack Drakov. Vostikov attempts to take out the ship's engine. Meanwhile, Shostakov battles Antonia while Belova searches for the other widows sent to protect Drakov. Drakov escapes as the widows gang up on Romanov. However, Belova creates a red dust bomb, releasing the widows from their mind control. Romanov reaches the control desk and copies the locations of the other widows worldwide to a portable drive, just as the red room begins to explode and fall. Before leaving the control room, Romanov picks up two vials of red dust that survived Belova's bomb. Vostikov and Shostakov are forced to escape the ship via aircraft, just as Belova takes out Drakov's escape ship, killing him. Romanov gives Belova a parachute as she and Antonia have one final battle through the sky before safely landing on the ground. Natasha uses one vial of red dust on Antonia, freeing her from her mind control. The rest of the widows arrive as Belova, Vostikov, and Shostakov say goodbye to Romanov. Belova gives Romanov her vest to remember her by, and Romanov gives Belova the last red dust vial and the portable drive, instructing her to find and free the other widows. As they leave, along with a recovering Antonia, Romanov awaits the arrival of Ross and his men. Two weeks later, Romanov, now sporting blonde hair, reunites with Mason, supplying her with a Quinjet. She rides off to free the detained Avengers from the raft. In a post credit scene set after Romanov's death, Belova encounters Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, now her employer, 
at Romanoff's grave. Belova receives her next assignment, take down Clint Barton, the man she claims is responsible for Romanoff's death. If you useful this video, please support me by liking, sharing the video, and more updates, please subscribe it. Thank you see you again.